Welcome to the studio, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Chris Beat, the drummer boy, and you will welcome right back. A lot of information has been traveling in the audio production world for the last 15 years of audio production. So this concept is not new, but there are a number of ways that um, it can be explained you know, to a beginner. So um, one of those ways that you can explain it to a beginner is what I want to introduce you to today. I want to introduce you to the concept of saturation. Saturation involves inducing extra sound into an original signal with two main types, even harmonics and odd harmonics. But what saturation does is to introduce harmonics in your audio, in your signal that were not there before. What do I mean? Let's take, for instance, a sine wave, a basic sine wave. This basic sine wave is about 261. They're about, see? Sa let's introduce saturation. You see how many more sounds we get. All these extra harmonics, they are what you add to the song. They are what they add um, to your song to give it that body. It can be easily overdone if I come here and say... I don't want to go into too much details of the intrinsics of how it works. I don't want to go into too much science stuff so that I don't bore you. Think of it as playing one note on the keyboard and as opposed to playing a normal triad major scale, which is your do mi so, and playing it in a full scale. So you have this octave here, you have your seventh, you have your ninth, you have your um, higher octave. You see how full it is. So that is exactly the easiest way I can get um, saturation close to you. So we introduce more harmonics. We introduce sounds that were not in the original scene which is why it can add full character it can make your it can make your um sound it can make it sound fuller and warm yes it adds extra um character to your music and this is helpful because it's going to add that extra punch extra life to your music and if you are not using saturation this is a sign that you need to start using saturation start learning to use saturation because it is a game changer it is going to elevate how your music sounds it is going to introduce your music to that punchiness that you've been looking for different types of saturation and what they offer we have some sat some tube saturation warm saturation we have all all these tube warm has to do with the type of um topology inside the um, circuit that is providing all these but if you already know what saturation is please feel free to leave uh, for people who don't know what saturation is and what it does so allow them yeah so um i can easily hear what a saturation is doing when you add and remove it in a song so you can start learning to know exactly how the saturation works um the easiest example is how i did with the sine wave so saturation is another type of process that you want to be careful with because when using the saturation it you can tend to overdo it i mean how i like to use saturation is i like to introduce all these little 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 harmonics um even harmonics is going to split the frequency even you know so this i use this for um stuff like pad i like to use even harmonics where it's just adding extra tone you want to add all these small small harmonics not so much that this is an overdue while while using this to explain that's why we have it that um loud that you can hear it you can hear the obvious saturation but we want to add little saturations here and there in the track and before you know you have like let's say a track of 32 tracks of uh, different things and then you have different levels of saturation going into it that is when you have a fuller track that helps you a lot when you when it comes to mastering and then another side of saturation that is um beautiful to talk about is the soft clipping that saturation adds to your music It allows you to have that perceived loudness but then your 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 wave is not clipping this is a loop that is that they've already added saturation to so because i can hear it properly you know so but let's still try So because this is a warm saturation, you can hear how, let me bring it down.
Listen to the low, listen to the kick and the snare. Listen to how he's trying to fatten the kick and the snare. Baby. Let's overdo. When you move it to about the middle, you can hear properly how um, he's trying to poof, poof, the kick and the snare. Then when you take it up, you can hear how uh, it's slowly uh, making the hi-hat sound like it's double, like... I don't know if you can hear it, but if you can hear it, start um, rehearsing. Oh, there's a video already in lineup, how to train your ears to hear different things in your mix. And then another good thing that this exciter, this saturation has, this mix knob, the ability to overdo and just add lead to back. Um, for this type of uh, stuff, I'll probably go for the warm one. Another thing to mention is that saturation will react based on how much you are feeding into it. Sometimes a saturation will not even happen until you reach about a, a level of volume. Some saturation plugins or saturation machines will not respond until they see like minus 10, minus, uh, minus 10, minus 5, you know, minus 15 uh, input signal. So you must really learn to know exactly what and how your saturation is responding and where it is responding from and from what point are you starting to get um uh saturated yeah so another another good way to hear it is to try it out on a guitar instrument so let's say i bring this saturation here you can hear how gr gritty i don't know if that's a word you can hear how gritty it sounds uh you know what let me try this Yeah, so see how it adds that, that silkiness to what I already have. So yes, try it out today. Try out different. There are many um, saturation plugins out there. A lot comes with your plugins. Um, sometimes you see them as overdrive, erosion, um, amp, uh, distortion, um, fuzz, you know. So a lot of ways that you can try this out. So yes, this is just a layman rough gathering into what a saturation does so yes try this out in your mix and then you will be amazed at how what you've been missing on and see if you've been struggling with gain staging you've been struggling with um balancing your mix to make it loud saturation is missing if your kick is not cutting through saturation is missing if you have guitar and then it's lost in your mix saturation is missing so most of the time i want to, most of the time i pair saturation with eq you know so i will saturate then i will eq or i will eq then saturate then i will use um an utility gain to bring down my gain back a bit so that i will balance up with where i'm coming from okay so your takeaway is what do you want to use saturation on everything basically from vocals to instrumentals to everything that you feel like needs it you know sometimes uh most of all these samples that we use they already come um saturated you know so you don't want to accept if it needs it if okay maybe you've done some eq some things that has taken away some of those grittiness in your mix in your in your sample so you can add it back by you know saturating so that is how you want to use saturation and 
this is just a rough man introduction to what a saturation is if saturation is a topic that piques your interest then i'll be sure to talk about it it is and has been my secret for the longest time now so saturation has been like the backbone of my mixes of my of my beats of my instrumentals so yeah with that said try saturation today and thank me tomorrow and i'll see you in the next class